This sacrifice I'm about to show you is a must know. We are gonna start with the Italian game. So just the general moves. And this happens after the Gioco Piano. And in this position, we are going to play the Evans Gambit, which is B4. And it's called a Gambit for a reason, because this pawn is not defended, so they're going to take it, usually with a bishop. Now, in this position, and the whole idea behind the Evans Gambit is that we can expand with our pawns and gain control over the center. So that's the compensation we have over um, yeah, not uh, losing a pawn, basically. Uh, so they will move their bishop back and we're going to attack it again. Uh, so far this is all basic stuff in the Evans Gambit. Uh, nothing special uh, about this. Uh, and black usually takes his pawn. And basically lets us take the center. But yeah, uh, they're up a pawn. So uh, that's what uh, black is play playing for. But in this position, uh, we are actually going to gambit some more. We are just going to castle. And... The most played move here is actually already a mistake, um, which is to take the pawn, which looks really natural because, yeah, uh, they're just winning another pawn and uh, it look like, looks like this gambit uh, doesn't really, uh, isn't really effective anymore because, yeah, we're just losing too many pawns. But in this position, we can actually sacrifice our bishop. Uh, you probably see what's coming uh, here. So if they don't take it, obviously we've just won a pawn back and we're going to grab this pawn next. So that's all, that's all fine. Um, but if they take it with the king, we have this check with our queen, forking the king and the bishop. And the king has to make a choice. Now, if the king moves here, we can take the bishop with check. They will usually block with the pawn and then we can take this pawn with the queen. And in this position, um, we're... Uh, still down a pawn, but uh, our King Kong castle, and yeah, we have just uh, really easy development, and uh, we are the ones attacking, so this is, uh, and the engine agrees, this is uh, really good for white. Um, so, usually the King doesn't go there, um, even though it is the best move, uh, objectively, uh, but yeah, they realize this would be a check, so usually they go back here. Uh, we can still take the Bishop, and now they do have... Uh, time because uh, their king is not in check uh, but this pawn can be defended our queen and our knight are both attacking it uh, so we are taking the pawn next move so i don't know let's say they bring out our knight we're just taking it with our knight uh, it's important that if possible uh, uh, to take it with the knight because you're uh, you're developing uh, and again after this uh, their king is really weak it looks like it but it can't castle um, because they've already moved their king twice and yeah, our bishop uh, has some really nice uh, options. Uh, so depending on what the, how the game develops, uh, uh, we can bring our bishop out really quickly and generate an attack. And uh, yeah, the engine actually says this is already plus one, uh, plus one point two even now. So uh, yeah, this is completely winning. So uh, yeah, this is definitely a trap you uh, you should know about, and uh, it will uh, get you some really interesting games. So. Uh, I hope you will uh, get those games. Uh, let me know if you do. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.